Welcome to the Gorilla 6 video series. In this lesson, I'm going to compare Gorilla scheduling with Movie Magic scheduling. Both programs are in version 6, so we are going to go head to head with the same version. I am also going to point out some of the features that Gorilla has that Movie Magic scheduling doesn't, and I'm going to point out some of the features Movie Magic has that Gorilla doesn't, so you can make an intelligent decision based on your needs as a filmmaker. First thing we're going to compare is importing a screenplay. Both Gorilla and Movie Magic can import the .fdx file format, which is Final Drafts screenplay format. We're going to take a look at the same screenplay imported into both programs. This is Movie Magic scheduling, and all the information is here the set, page count, and the attached elements. In Gorilla, here is the screenplay info. What Gorilla does import, however, is the first line of the synopsis. Movie Magic does have a field for that here but nothing comes in from the FDX file. Also, Gorilla has the ability to see the actual screenplay, including dialogue, directly from the breakdown sheet by clicking this screenplay button. In fact, this scene navigator is quite helpful when you want to navigate to another scene. You just click on the scene here and go to that scene. Okay, moving on. We don't have any color coding going on here, which is a nice visual. In Gorilla, the categories and elements are all color coded. And of course, you can modify those colors. This whole area here in Movie Magic is reserved for an image that you can import. In Gorilla, you can also add a picture to your breakdown sheet, but it is on a separate tab so it doesn't interfere with your breakdown sheet information. In Movie Magic, you can add, merge, duplicate, delete breakdown sheets, and in Gorilla, you can do the same here with these buttons on the toolbar. In Gorilla, you can list all the breakdown sheets in a list view and edit them quickly on the fly. In regards to importing screenplays, Gorilla can also import a screenplay saved in the Celtix file format available in the Celtix desktop application. Movie Magic Scheduling cannot. Gorilla 6 does have two very nice sync features. You can sync a modified Final Draft FDX file into your existing schedule, which allows you to retain any changes you made to your schedule while importing additions and modifications made in the revised screenplay. You can also sync a schedule. So if someone else has a copy of the exact same schedule and they make modifications or changes, you can import their changes into your copy of the schedule. Both these features are not available in Movie Magic. Okay, moving on to shoot days. In Gorilla, shoot days are arranged in production phases, so you can have as many phases as you want. It makes it easier to organize a large production that is shooting over many weeks or even months. In Movie Magic, you can define multiple calendars. And in the calendar, you can specify which calendar set is attached to a board. So it is similar. You can attach a board to a calendar, but it doesn't seem as if you can attach multiple calendars to multiple boards, which you can do in Gorilla with phases. In Gorilla, you can create a call sheet right from the shoot day screen, adding cast and crew to your call sheet and all the appropriate call sheet information. Movie Magic does not have a way to enter call sheet information. You can also set up meetings and attach attendees to the meetings for casting calls or location scouts or post-production. That is not a feature in Movie Magic. But let's go back to seeing what Movie Magic does have. Let's compare 
the strip boards. Now, to clarify, a strip board in film terms is a way to organize your scenes and shoot days. Both Gorilla and Movie Magic use a strip board to do this. Let's look at Movie Magic strip board. What you do here is drag a scene up and down the board to the desired location. The black strips here indicate a shoot day. Let's take a look at Gorilla strip board. Many of the same features are here, including adding a daybreak, sorting your board by different criteria, allowing multiple boards per schedule, a boneyard section to play strips that you don't know what to do with. All this is very important. Both Gorilla and Movie Magic have a vertical display option, so you can move strips around in that view if you want. One nice display feature in Movie Magic scheduling is the ability to see the board IDs. These are the numbers allocated for the cast members here in this horizontal column in the vertical view. You can see them in Gorilla too. However, in Gorilla, they are displayed vertically like the strip. Both programs allow you to print the board in black and white or color. A very nice feature in Gorilla is the ability to customize the look of your board using the strip design feature. This allows you to position the breakdown sheet fields in any location on the strip or hide any information that you do not want to display or print. You can even save your design. Movie Magic has a calendar strip board view which allows you to move the strips in a calendar view from one day to another. Gorilla does not have this feature. I mentioned printing. One thing that Gorilla can do that Movie Magic cannot is email any report, including the strip board, the call sheet, the shooting schedule, etc., automatically from Gorilla to your cast and crew with the click of a button. Here is the email button on the strip board. This will allow you to email your board to anyone. If that person is already created as a cast member or a crew member, they will appear here and then just click send. You can also create email groups, for example, lead actors or production crew, and email that group any report you want. Those are the basic comparisons when it comes to breakdown sheets, shoot days, call times, and strip board. Let's compare reports. You can print the strip board and the breakdown sheets in both programs. Both Gorilla and Movie Magic Scheduling has a day out of days report. This is an essential production report that shows you the days a cast member is needed for the schedule. Beyond those scheduling features, some of the features that Gorilla 6 has that Movie Magic does not include the actors and crew module. You can enter all your actors and crew in Gorilla, including headshots, roles played, and crew titles. Gorilla also has a location module, perfect for creating your locations, photos, and attaching scenes to that location, including entering crucial location information that any production needs. Lastly, Gorilla also has a storyboard module, allowing you to shot list your project. Remember, I did mention that you can attach pictures to your breakdown sheets and create a storyboard in Movie Magic. Here, I have attached a few storyboards to this scene. However, I could not easily rearrange the storyboards, as you can in Gorilla. Also, in Gorilla, you can easily attach elements to each shot and a lot more specific information, such as equipment, vehicles, camera and lens info, and other notes to your shots. One more thing, let's look at the price. Movie Magic scheduling is $489. Gorilla scheduling is almost half that, at $249. I hope that this comparison helps you understand the similarities and the differences in both of these film and video scheduling programs. That's a wrap. Have a great shoot.